Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff here in the office for our daily lectionary readings. It is Monday, June 3rd, 2024. That being Monday, we're looking back at what happened at church on yesterday. Our psalm reading is going to be Psalm 99. Our Old Testament reading, remember, we're continuing a semi-continuous reading, and we're in 1 Samuel. So 1 Samuel 2, 11 through 17 is going to be our Old Testament reading. And then Romans 9, 19 through 29 is going to be our New Testament reading. I'm going to flip up our new pad there, and it looks like we're going to be reading it out of the Living Bible today. So Psalm 99, Jehovah is king. Let the nations tremble. He is enthroned between the guardian angels. Let the whole earth shake. Jehovah sits in majesty in Zion, supreme above all rulers of the earth. Let them reverence your great and holy name. This mighty king is determined to give justice. Fairness is the touchstone of everything he does. He gives justice throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our holy God. Bow low before his feet. When Moses and Aaron and Samuel, his prophet, cried to him for help, he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of clouds, and they followed his instruction. O oh, Jehovah our God, you answered them and forgave their sins, yet punished them while they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for he is holy. Our Old Testament reading, 1 Samuel 2, 11-17. So they returned home to Ramah without Samuel, and the child became the Lord's helper, for he assisted Eli the priest. Now the sons of Eli were evil men who didn't love the Lord. It was their regular practice to send out a servant whenever anyone was offering a sacrifice. And while the flesh of the sacrificed animal was boiling, the servant would put a three-pronged flesh hook into the pot and demand that whatever it brought up be given to Eli's son. They treated all the Israelites in this way and when they came to Shiloh to worship. Sometimes the servant would come even before the rite of the burning of the fat on the altar had been performed, and he would demand raw meat before it was boiled so that it could be used for roasting. If the man offering the sacrifice replied, take as much as you want, but the fat must be burned as the law requires, then the servant would say, no, give it to me now or I'll take it by force. So the sin of these young men were very great in the eyes of the Lord, for they treated the people's offering to the Lord with contempt. Our New Testament reading, Romans 9, 19 through 29. Well then, why does God blame them for not listening? Haven't they done what he made them to do? No, don't say that. Who are you to criticize God? Should the thing made say to the one who made it, Why have you made me like this? When a man makes a jar out of clay, doesn't he have a right to use the same lump of clay to make one jar beautiful, to be used for holding flowers, and another to throw garbage into? Does not God have a perfect right to show his fury and power against those who are fit only for destruction, those he had been patient with all this time. And he has a right to take others, such as ourselves, who have been made for pouring the riches of his glory into, whether we are Jews or Gentiles, and to be kind to us so that everyone can see how very great his glory is. Remember what the prophecy of Hosea says? There, God says that he will find other children for himself who are not from his Jewish family and will love them, though no one has ever loved them before. 
and the heathen of whom it once was said, You are not my people, shall be called sons of the living God. Isaiah the prophet cried out concerning the Jews that though there would be millions of them, only a small number would be saved. For the Lord will execute his sentence upon the earth, quickly ending his dealings, justly cutting them short. And Isaiah says in another place that except for God's mercy, all the Jews would be destroyed, all of them, just as everyone in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah perished. And here ends our readings for the day.